will maybe get out of the groove and try new things with me and do what I want to do and we won't have this problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're not lasting. They're not lasting after this video, bro. They're not doing nothing. Bitch, what do you want to do that he's not doing? I want more. I want everything to be different or different positions. She wanted to, she said she wants everything to be different. Shit, then go find a different guy. What the fuck? Split decision. Today, we brought four straight couples into the studio to ask them some of the toughest, most intimate questions they have ever been asked. Forget your partners behind you. Go with your gut. And most importantly, be honest. Question number one. I faked an orgasm with my partner. Make your split decision in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. I expected that. I expected that. I think guys, there's no really need. Like, I've never ever talked to a guy that has ever ever admitted of him faking an orgasm. I believe him, and I believe them. I believe it, bro. Like, there's absolutely no need. Girls, I've heard a few times where girls have told me like, yeah, nah, <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. So yeah, I believe it. Although I actually thought it would be worse than 50-50. You were my first, like, so in the very the beginning of our relationship, yeah. I just, I, it was hard for me to get into it yeah, in like the beginning. Did you know, first of all? That I did, I did. Oh, you I knew did. she faked it? Yeah, I did, I did. Oh, you I knew did. she faked it? Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's pretty fake, so. Man, personally, I would just rather you just not fake it. Cause then how am I, if you fake it and I believe it, then how am I supposed to get better? Do you get what I mean? What is faking gonna achieve you in the long term? It's not gonna do anything. I understand why girls do that. But if we're gonna have a you know, serious relationship, getting into what the intentions of having a long-term relationship, it doesn't make sense to fake it. Like if it's not working for you, shit, just tell me, just give it to me straight, pause. <laughs> also, can I just say what a mixture. I've never seen this IRL, I'll be honest. Jubilee really have find some of the most, not iconic, what the hell, the most rare interracial relationships, because damn, a black girl and an Asian guy that looks like he's straight out of like 90s anime or something, damn. Yeah, we've been together okay, for four okay. years and married. Shun, Shun. Good for two. Mm. Jenny. Um, he actually was not very good at the beginning. He sucked in the beginning? Not anymore though, not anymore more though. I, I think that our sex life right now is very, pretty compatible, but when we first started dating like four or five months in, yeah, I was doing that for like yeah. that that time period. Hey, and Devon's face is red as a tomato. He's just there like, I mean, and again, I, I'll be honest, this is an average Australian couple, yeah? White boy with an Asian girl, yeah. Honestly, if you're not a skinny white boy, it's almost probably like pointless going after Asian girls, but especially here in Australia, woo, it's just point useless. You're wasting your time. Damn, I sound so hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that on the DL, I'm gonna keep that on the DL. I wish my partner were more kinky and would take more risks in bed. Make your split decisions in three, two, a one. I, uh, I have a, I have a yeah. thing for maybe like, yeah. Go ahead, sorry. I don't even know if I can say this. Say it. <laughs> maybe say it, we want to know. Ooh, that sounds, this sounds gonna be spicy. Like doing stuff in public? Mm, like that's a, okay. that's a big like fetish yeah. of mine. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> have you told, have you told him? <laughs> What's her name, Veron? Is that Veronica? Bro, she's an actual queen, bro. She's an actual queen. I'll be honest, I need some of the, I need me some of the energy in my life. I'll be very honest. And also, they've done a lot of it. I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna read some recounts. I'm gonna need some stories, cause what? Also, doing it in public is not well and good until, you know, that one day that you get caught. You know, and that one day where you, uh, it's, 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 it's not that, not that I would know, absolutely not. I would not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a virgin, bro. I would not know. Shady. Um, I feel like we're both in the same place when it comes to getting kinkier. Um, I definitely want to explore, like everybody said, toys and costumes. And I, I, I do like being swept on my feet and I know he'd like to see me in like a schoolgirl outfit. I just want like to take it to the next level. I mean, listen, I know, you know, kinks, what or not, accepting 2023. As long as it's two consulting adults, do whatever the fuck you want. But when I start hearing schoolgirls, when I start hearing like, you know, furry tails getting involved, cages, like when it's in private, obviously if it's not under, it's not in public, I don't really care. But when you put it out, when you put the information out in public, it's for everyone to judge. Okay, and I'm judging, okay, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not God, but shit, man, someone has to judge you, mother direction with that, I like, I want, I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with. So you're a little scared to like, make that move? Yes. Okay, well, I've been waiting for you to make that move. <laughs> you shouldn't tell me to make the move. I should make the move. I will make the move. We've been dating for... 
my guy Anthony, okay, I'm gonna need to tell you, I'm gonna teach you a few things. She just came out and said she wants to be dominated. And you're talking about, I needs to be taught, and you did it, you are not reciprocating, re reciprocating her energy, bro. I've been dating for a little over a year now. She used to date one of my best friends in high school. Then they uh, kind of broke up and um, been it together just, ever since. Yeah. I that is so dog, bro. You're a dog, bro. How, why would you do that? You can't date. You cannot date your friend's ex. You can't do that. You just don't do that. You know, smashing pipe, that's one th pipe and one thing, bro. That's one thing. Dating? Ah, uh, nah, man, that ain't right. That just ain't right. It's not right on yourself. Also not right on your friend. And you just don't know what type of intentions, of you know, a woman might be coming in with, you know, sometimes women genuinely come into it. But like, I'm gonna, like, he me over i'm gonna hurt him i'm gonna they'll be coming in with ulterior motives off the bat that's a rip i'm better at sex than my partner make your split decisions in three two one okay go ahead and turn around <laughs> yes okay you're you both think you're better at sex than the other person Ooh. okay <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, bro. I jubilee. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Yeah, you want some content. You want some spicy content. I understand it. That's why you've got this guy in there. What's his name? He stood there. They've off the producer behind the camera, and they've hired a personal, professional instigator. I see you. You're here to break people up, bro. Yeah, for some content off of YouTube. Yeah, is this is what you're doing, jubilee. You're ruining people's lives. Cause there's no reason he's there. There's no other reason. Look, you just hear him. He's just like, ooh, <laughs> shady. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> I want to hear more. <laughs> Both think you're better at sex than the other person. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to hear more. <laughs> I bet you do, you little, mm, you little mm, snake. I said yes. Because I seem to initiate it more, and I feel like I'm always putting myself out there, and I'm always. You know, trying to try new things, even if alcohol is not involved. Um, <laughs> and you are kind of just passive in the moment. And I don't mind it, but I would like more in this act of, um, <laughs> <laughs> the act of lovemaking. Um, I have pretty, pretty down. But to be fair, to be fair, I am a lot easier and you are a lot more difficult. What do you mean he's more difficult? <laughs> he's more difficult to make finish. It, it takes a it while. It takes a long time. If she was better at it, would it last a shorter amount of time? Yes. When we first started dating, Ooh, she did not dating, like that. it definitely was much shorter because it was new, it was fun, and not that it's bad or anything like that, um, but like it's, now I, I found my groove and it's just, it just takes me a while. Maybe he's out. Boy. I've never heard a man complain about lasting a long time though. Like most guys want to last a long time. In fact, most guys, feel like they finish too quick. So that's very interesting that he has trouble finishing. And he straight out came out and said with confidence that if she was better at throwing her back, then maybe, yeah, bitch. Like he's just saying, I'm not saying, bitch, if you are better at throwing her back on me, then maybe I'll finish quick. That's crazy. That is crazy. You ain't getting none, bro. He's gonna hold that against you forever. Takes me a while. Maybe is that why you don't initiate? Because it's not as good as maybe it once was? You see the way my guy is smiling with those perfect white teeth. He's just piss, just pissing on their relationship, bro. And he's so proud doing it. No, that's not why. Well, maybe get out of the group and try new things with me and do what I want to do. And we won't have this problem. Okay, okay. This is why you take the lead, though. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not lasting. They're not lasting after this video, bro. They're not doing nothing. What do you want to do that he's not doing? I want more. I want everything to be different or different positions. Like she wanted. To, she said she wants everything to be different. Shit, then go find a different guy. What the fuck? Yeah, good luck, brother. Yeah, yeah, you're finished. You're finished. Like she said, I was. She was my first. Mm. Like the first time, I was like, I, I already knew what's gonna happen, you know. So I was like, how can I make this memorable? So before then, I put like Kung Fu Panda on, so I could be like, that's my movie right there, you know. You put Kung Fu Panda on, yeah, you made love to her with Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu fighting. Do -do 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 <laughs> Bro, how are you gonna beat to that? Jack Black spinning stick. 30 seconds later, it's it's all over. At most. Yeah. The second time, I was like, oh, I'm gonna beat this. You know, I can't, yeah. I can't beat this. I'm gonna put on Shrek instead. 
maybe 10 seconds and I'm like, oh damn. Ted said you were worse the second yeah. time. We've been together for a year and... Ten seconds? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, Azik, I'm, un I'm unfamiliar with your game because I genuinely don't even know what that would feel like. Ten seconds. I'll be very honest, bro. My first time, it wasn't that great, but it wasn't like 10, 30 seconds. Jesus Christ, maybe it wasn't that bad. He's the most confident person I've ever dated. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Three of the gentlemen say yes, three of the ladies say no. <laughs> Alondra, let's start with you. I said no because I think he's like perfect in my eyes, but he always has something negative to say about himself. You know, just from looking at him, he has a, a lot of good qualities, a lot of good features on him, and he doesn't think he's that attractive. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, have you seen yourself in the mirror? Like, you are very attractive. Anything you want to say to that? Okay, so I've only ever dated one other person before her. Um, it was an online, or I mean, long distance. We're pretty much the same, I guess. Same, I guess. Very anxious and like low self-esteem and whatever, but like, like seeing her do the things she um, does, like it, it, it inspires me because I want to be more like her. Ezekiel, he's a good guy, man. He's a good guy, bro. I feel brother's energy, okay? He's a good guy at heart. You can tell, ah, oh, I feel bad for him. But he does need to, you know, show a little bit more, you know, just show a little bit more person. I feel like, yeah, he's maybe overthinking things in his head a little bit too much while he's, like, you can see him with, like, even on the verge of breaking down, even just explaining himself. And you can tell that she knows it as well. Ah, oh, bless your soul, brother. Damn, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, man, my heart. No, just, just everything she does. Like, I just want to be more like her in that, in that regard, you know? She's, she's just amazing, so. <sighs> Jenny. That was a hard watch. That was a hard watch, I'll be very honest. I felt like he was gonna like, you know, break into tears. If I'm being honest, if I'm being very harsh, that dynamic is not gonna, you know, especially Alejandra, I can kind of get, see her energy. He needs to, you know, take ownership of himself and the relationship a little bit more, I would feel. I mean, hey, man, if it works out for them, it works out for them. Devin is the most confident person you have ever been with, but Devin, Jenny is not the most confident no. you've ever been with. No. No. No, big no, okay. Like, where is she at, one to 10? I would say, honestly, I would say you're at like a, like a five or a six, and I think we could we could probably move that on up. Wait, to like where a, do you feel you are? What's your one to ten? A three. A three. A three. Mm -hmm. I think I think for me it's like my upbringing, where I where I'm from. Um, uh, I grew up in Asia. Yeah, it's an Asian thing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Takahashi, I get it. All right. Uh, <laughs> Been there, my friends. <laughs> Asians, you know, Asian power combined. Yes, we all have, uh, what is it, self-esteem problems. We are all not confident. <laughs> Ain't no way, man. That's the funniest. He just came in. He just came in out of nowhere. He's like, oh, yeah, I get it. I'm an Asian. He takes an Asian thing. Yeah, I understand. And then the host just comes out and says, like, me too, brother. Me too. Yeah, yeah, Takahashi, what did he say? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm dead. Yeah, our parents really do just beat. All the self-esteem out of us. Oh, you only get 70%. Oh, I don't know. Oh, your cousin, yeah, I heard he got 99%. What even was that accent, bro? But you, you get that all the time. It's like, oh my God, the amount of Indian aunties. Indian aunties are so unforgiving. They'll literally just be like, oh, Beta, you look like you put on a few kilos huh? since last time I saw you. What happened? Too many, too many, too many gulab jamuns. Hmm. Or oh, if they see you wearing like anything that is not, <laughs> if anything that's not cult check it, checkered colored shirt with button up shirt with jeans if they see you wearing anything a little bit you know out of out of the norm they'll be like oh what is this you look it's not good bro. you look like a rowdy from the streets of chennai what is this I'm just like wow relax i'm literally just wearing a bandana it's literally not that crazy or if they're wearing like tight jeans god forbid i get caught wearing tight jeans i don't wear tight jeans so much now but when i was younger that would hone in on it like a fucking hog like i just don't understand like, I don't even know you, auntie. I literally met you, like, once before in my life. And that was seven years ago. I have literally just saw you again. And not even, like, how is your studying going? You want to go straight to my pants? Pause. Like, you need to feel serious. Sit me down and feed me some biryani first before you try and violate me like that. Jesus Christ. Something you've ever been with. Yeah, I like it, though. <laughs> how, many, how many guys have you been with? <laughs> he's my fourth boyfriend. Fourth? Okay. And what's, what's he at? One to ten? I would say he's, uh, nine? Nine? Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. 
I'll, I'll, I'll take that. One of these, all right. All right, <laughs> let's go on to the move. Let's move on to the next. Oh, yeah, no, Devin, Devin, done, dude, he's done good, bro. You know what? You know, when it's all said and done, him and Shun, they're the most normal motherfuckers on this bitch. Family approves of my partner. Make your split decisions in three, two. I'm calling it right now. That black girl is getting disrespected, girl. He's, she's, there's no way this Asian guy, his family approves of a black girl. There's no way. Two, one. No, huh? Yeah, more. yeah, I came from a very, very cultural uh, yep. family. Besides that, a lot of cultural difference as well that my family did not go well with. And is that still going on? They still don't? Still going on, still working on it at the moment for me. How does that make you feel? It, it's been the, probably the hardest thing that we ever had to go through. For sure. Just because I want so bad to be accepted. Yeah. Um, and one day hopefully have a relationship with your family. Yeah. And then it also like just brings a lot of insecurities in myself. Like yeah. I'm not like good enough. And it, to a point, it kind of started to make me question if I'm accepted too, in a way, because of the relationship as well. So it's been tough for that. I mean, yeah, you should know going into it, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. It's going to be hard, bro. My, I mean, my mom would have the exact same views as well. And it's not even necessarily necessarily oh, we don't like black type thing. It's it's also kind of a cultural aspect. For example, if I do, if I marry a white girl, for example, my mom, she would be like one step away from everything all the time because they don't want to really adjust their own kind of way of thinking to different cultural aspects it's hard for old people to adapt anyway mentally speaking so you know language barriers this this and that i understand i you know it's not fair and to be like i don't approve of this is a little bit like bro re like relax at the end of the day i'm going to be the one spending my whole life with them not you but from their point of view you also need to understand why they might you know, be a bit iffy about it and why you probably need to, you know, fight harder than you need to to convince them. But there also needs that energy needs to be reciprocated from your family as well to at least try, try to understand. Well, I say no because my mom, she's like very old traditional, like Mexican mom, and she expects a lot from my partner, regardless of who they are. She really expects a lot, like she needs them to kind of work their entire life. I mean, she likes him as a person because he's a really good person, but she just feels like he should be more like man. And I agree, I, <laughs> I agree completely with her mom. It's, you know, people, you know, in that generation have that way of thinking for a reason though. And you can say what you want about it, all the traditional role, traditional values and whatnot. I mean, if I was his mate, I would encourage him to I would, I would definitely take more, you know, become more confident, take control of himself a lot more in his relationship, be more of a man. And personally, I think she would be happier. Alejandra herself would be a bit happier with that. But if she's cool, hey. How do you all feel about those? How do you all feel about those, you know, traditional gender norms? Like what we're talking about right here? I think definitely um, for me and Anthony, we're very not based on that. Um, for the longest time, I was working two jobs and I was bringing in the income and taking care of rent while he was, you know, not working as much and waiting for a promotion so he can get to that step. But I do believe, like, a relationship is whatever you can give. It's not all 100%. It's not, you know, just 50-50. It's... I mean, yeah, that's fair enough as well. But, you know, I, eventually, as a man, you do need to step up and be a man. Like, what type of example are you setting to your kids? You know, what if you, when you have kids and she can't work, what are you going to do then? Like, do you get what I mean? It just makes sense, bro. The traditional roles, it just makes sense. Everything put together. T times might change, but some things will never change. You know, nothing is set in stone. It's not one way or another. You can, you know, actually, as a white girl said, I forgot her name. What's her name? Shady. Shady? Shady? That's a good example. Like, she was providing when he couldn't, but he's obviously working his way up to a promotion to, to a point where he can't provide. That kind of communication that'd be like, yes, go, give and go a little bit is compromise is good. I think it'd be weird for her, a girl to be like, actually, you know what? You don't have any money for me. I'm going to leave you because of that. That's a bit wild as well. Although that would provide a very valuable lesson to some guys that are just way too lazy to do shit. Now, that video is interesting the, to see the different dynamics between different types of people, you know, with different roles within their relationships. It's, it's quite interesting. But what's your thought about it? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you didn't make it this far in the video, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. We're hugely appreciated. Take care of yourselves and your family. And I'll see you in the next one. Worst days, girl, you still kinda cute If it go down, I'm gon' protect you Pull that stick out and shoot All I want is your love, can't see no bitch out to you On promotions, we did things that we didn't have to do Tell her you leave, not so nice when you